Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr. We are working our way through Chrono Trigger. Uh, if you're just going by the live streams, this is week two. If you're going by the uh, almost daily releases on YouTube, then this will be episode number seven. And uh, if you remember, we kind of stopped and saved because what I am doing is I am live streaming once a week for about two and a half ish hours to try to get everything squared away. And uh, I just realized I forgot to set the timer on this one. Um, and uh, and so we're live streaming the uh, recording of all our episodes. So if you're watching on YouTube and you want to be included in the chat below, please do tune in. There's a link to Mixer and Twitch down below. And if you're already watching live, thank you. And uh, don't forget to say hi in the chat if nothing else. All right, so let us pick up, pick up where we left off with our Vanished Princess. Now, you'll notice by the level information there that in between last week and this week, I did do uh, a little bit of leveling. I got Luca up to level four, so that way she'd have her first tech and they would have their first combo tech and a couple of minor updates to some equipment. So a little low on the on the money there. 801 gold or gill as the <laughs> as it could also be given the uh, the crew that's working on this but that should be sufficient to get us into this part of 600 AD and move the story forward so let's go ahead and go into the Manolia Cathedral and Oh yeah, I did turn the background audio down a little bit. I noticed on the on the, uh, on the replays on YouTube that it was um, a mite loud. So let me know if it's a little quiet and I'll try to adjust it. And hopefully it won't take me a whole week to figure that one out. Alright. This can't be bad at all, right? We pray for the peace of our world. We are ever so devout. Tee hee hee. I know, I probably shouldn't have given it that ominous thing, given I played this game enough times that I know what's getting ready to happen. And that should be an evil T. <laughs> oh great lord and master, deliver your judgment upon the weak and undeserving. That we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh how delicious, I mean delightful looking you are. <laughs> okay. Hmm. No other rooms. Nope. Just this. All right. Play me a song, Mr. Piano Man. Why not say a prayer for yourselves? He he he. Uh oh. What is this? What is this? Something in the air. Oh no no. Wrong franchise. What did you find? A hairpin. Could it be? The hairpin from the queen that the king was so disturbed she didn't have? Uh oh. Well, this can't be good. Yeah, they look none too, uh, none too happy. Oh, alright. I was hoping to get more than two of them in one shot, but alright. Bam. All right. Oh. Uh-oh. Should have been a little careful with the slow. Oh, come on, Luca. All right, I can't wait for her. I don't want to sit around waiting too long. That's how you end up dead and starting over. Killer. That, that's it, guys. Get in closer. Get in closer. That's it. No, 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 no. All right. Looks like we're only going to get three of them, but that's okay. I'll take it. Come on. A couple of them should be gone now, right? Yeah. Ooh. Chrono's about out of, out of magic points, too. 
All right, so let's let her do her flamethrower, and we'll do him do his regular attack. Nope. Okay. That works. Ooh. 320 gold. Always nice. Chrono's level went up. But not Luca. Aw. Wasn't expecting that. Oh. Ack. Lower your guard and you shall allow the enemy in. You've come to save the queen? The fiend's lair lies within, it would seem. Will you accompany me? That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to check and see if it was the fiend lord in the old version, too. You, you're a... Chrono, it's a giant talking frog. You know I can't stand frogs. I suppose I ought not expect you to trust me looking as I do. Very well. Do as you please, but I must save the queen. Frog save the queen. Oh, wait. <laughs> you you don't seem like a bad frog. I mean, person. I mean, um... What should we do, Chrono? We should go with the frog. All right. I guess I'll just have to get over my aversion to slimy or moist skinned creatures. So what's your name? Your name? Going to be frog. I guess I have to use the mouse on this one. Right. Or the keyboard? Come on. What do we gotta do except there we go. Is frog correct? Yes. Frog will suffice. All right. Nice to meet you, Frog. And you as well. The room must conceal a hidden passage. Let us search every corner. All right. Let us do a couple other things first. Let us go to our inventory and see what equipment Monsieur Frog has. Ooh, he's level five already. That, that could be nice to know. He's got a bronze sword, bronze helm, bronze armor, and a power glove. Uh, how does... It, bronze helm, bronze armor. Okay. So they're about the same... Yeah, they're at about the same equipment level. So that's good. I don't have to go running around trying to equip them with anything. Um, let's see. And he should come with techs already, right? Yeah. He's got slurp, which restores a small amount of hit point to an ally. Um... Do I want to go burning his magic now? Actually, I know what I want to do. We're going to, before we go searching the cathedral, we're going to come back into the woods and we're going to take advantage of a couple of things. I'd like to get Luca up to level 5 since everybody else is. And one of the nice things is over here, let's uh, dispatch these guys real quick. Nice thing is, is that they are easy folk. They don't hit that hard. Boom, and... Oh, no. Regular attack, regular attack. Shoot him. Hmm. We can tell who the powerhouses are here. Okay. 10 XP, which is nice. 3 tech points, which is nice. 74 gold, which is always nice. And a potion, which will come in handy. Now, that combat right there is there every time you come through the forest. So you leave the forest, you come back. You'll always have those three guys to fight, and they will always give you a potion. So if you want to stock up on the potions and you don't want to spend a small fortune, just leave the forest, come back in here. Fight them and get a potion. Leave the forest, come back in here. Fight them and get a potion. Likewise, you can come up here, and this shaking bush right here will have that guy who always drops a shelter. So rather than spending a small fortune on shelters, you can just keep leaving the forest, coming back in, shake a <laughs> shake him down for a shelter, and then leave, really. Uh, you don't even have to do any of the other battles in here for that. Uh, you can just come in, run up there, get a potion, get a shelter, run out. Get a potion, get a shelter, run out. And that is a nice way to run things. But uh, since part of this was trying to figure out um, whether or not we want to 
grind a little bit to get Luca up to level 5. Uh, 60 XP away. It's not far, but it's not near either. So I think, I think instead of trying to grind her up... Well, let's see. Let's see what this uh, battle does, and then we'll go from there. Let's knock these guys out real quick. The whole, the whole, the main point of this exercise was to run, grab that free shelter, and uh, use that to restore everybody up. So that's only that's only ten XP, uh, forty gold though. I'm not gonna get mad about forty gold. Uh, and these guys were oh, somebody else around here, wasn't there? One, one of these other bushes, shaky, shaky. There we go. I didn't realize Chrono was as close to leveling as he was, or I would have gone ahead and gotten Luca up to level 5 as well. Alright, another 10, 40. That puts her at 40. Yeah, no. She should be okay by the time we get to um, the next big bad guy. Or at least uh, very quickly in the cathedral, she'll level up. Let's get back here. Let's go to our inventory. Let's use one of the free shelters we picked up. Bam. Everybody's topped off to full health. Let's go ahead and save our progress. It'd be a shame to do all that work and not have it saved. And back to the cathedral. Where you can spend all day running around mashing buttons trying to figure it out until you go to the piano. Play a tune. And... I guess I turned my audio down a little too too low. I can't hear it in my ear. Um, <laughs> and there we go. We got us a door. Hmm. Uh, what's the gargoyles doing the shuffle? <laughs> okay. So we're doing this. And they're starting off with... Ooh. Oh my. Oh. Yeah. Sure. We'll just take the default battle on these guys until we figure out how bad they are. Because it doesn't look like they do too much damage that we need to worry about it. And by the time all three get an attack run in, <laughs> there's less hits happening. Alright, so let's clear out the side shuffling gargoyles. 30 XP, 3 tech points, and Luca's almost up to leveling. Alright, um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me the treasure chests. Alright, although first we gotta fight these guys. Same process, we'll, we'll just grind through our regular attacks. No, no use wasting our precious and low magic points while we're this early. Now, it is worth remembering, too, that at any point in time, we can backtrack out. And 120, and Luca's level increased. Flog, flog, frog learned, sl frog learned slurp slash. There's a tongue twister for you. And we got us a potion and an Athenian water, which used to be called something different. All right, um, now this is where Two doors diverged in a dungeon. I, having the weak memory, consulted my manual. Because again, we're we're going ahead and we're just uh we're doing this one this way, this go around, and oh, they go to the same place. Let me just keep my map there where the glare of the lights will uh, happily obscure it. <laughs> all these go through to the same chamber where we got all sorts of fun stuff. So let's try to limit the engagement and start with these guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you want to brew coffee with Athenian water. Or maybe you do. All right, come on. Kill the snake. 
Yeah. Hit that crit. 16 XP, 2 tech points, and 140 bucks. Always nice. And another Athenian water. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Alright, let's get to the side shuffling gargoyles. While they do the hustle. <laughs> Alright. Bam. Bam. Cut them up. Yeah, she doesn't say it so hard. But it won't matter for too long. Although. 20 XP, 2 tech points, 120 bucks. And Luca learned Hypnowave. Oh yeah, we're getting ready to do some dubstep. Alright, um... Alright, I see. There's two doors on either side, then we're going to want to head down the central chamber. So, we might as well go to the left, right? I mean, that's where the kitchen is, isn't it? Sorry, inside joke amongst our D&D group. <laughs> uh, Alright. Health is looking a little sad, though. So, I keep getting these potions for 50 hit points. Let's go ahead and, yeah, um, 30, 40. It's a little bit of a waste, but we'll do it. I mean, it's not like I didn't get a bunch of them from grinding in the forest either. Oh, yes. Here we go. Double check. Nothing in those containers. And in box number one, we have an ether. Is it an ether bunny? No, wait. No, there's one of the two potions we used. And a maiden suit. Is it made of iron? Be an iron maiden suit. All right. This is why I never bothered buying her an upgraded armor, because I knew that coming in here, we would end up with a maiden suit, which only a maiden can wear. <laughs> there we go. We at least get her to uh, stop taking so much damage. And in here, there's surely a hidden Naga Bromide. Oh, hey there. There are humans in here. Gee, what clued you in? <laughs> Try and steal our Bromide, will you? Get him. Guys, we can do this easy or hard. Oh, yeah, let's do it easy. Bam. Die in fire. There we go. Quick and simple. And a level up. Good. That means they should have gotten back. His, no. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of forgot that Chrono Trigger is not as nice as later games. When you level up, you get the difference in your magic point added to your current magic point pool. You don't get filled up to the top of your new current um, a a as more recent games do. So again, you had to work a little bit harder back then. Uh, it wasn't always fun. Okay, it was always fun. But uh, it's worth remembering that uh, when you're playing some of the classic games, they, they get it's a school of hard knocks there. And so you don't end up... So he went from 16 to 18 magic points. He didn't immediately go to 18 magic points as his new current balance. Same with hit points. He just, you know, went from the 12 to 14. Because you get the two that you earned. And that's... Uh, be happy for that. While you go uphill. In the snow. Both ways. A steel saber. Yes, that's right. And that is Chrono's sword that we could have spent 800 gold on. No, sorry, 4,000 gold on. Uh, some obscene amount of gold on. Or we could pick it up for free right here. Works for me. Um. You're humans. They've hidden the queen in the back. Please rescue her. Alright, guys. There's room in this party for two more, you know. No, I know. <laughs> Somewhere within this complex, there's a shrine to the Fiend Lord. I heard there's a treasure to be found there as well. Oh, really? Obtained a strength capsule. 
which in the old in the old SNES version was called a strength tab. Why they changed it from a tab to a capsule, I'll never know. But uh, let's see. Strength is fifteen. Strength is eleven. Um. I'm trying to remember if they leveled Frog up between when he leaves your party, spoiler alert, and, and later. Uh, let's go ahead and let's leave out that strength tab for now and come back to that one. Oh, hey, the side shuffling gargoyles are back. Do the hustle. Oh, oh, memory. <laughs> or my lack thereof. Let's just do the quick hits. Bam! Get him! 20 XP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I kind of forget that. Ooh, everybody's leveling up. Yeah, so we got most of the party at level 6. Luke is at level 5 and probably not too far behind them. Yeah. I guess you don't really see tab in use as a uh, form of pill outside of the medical profession these days. I guess that's why it never phased me before or now. Before because, you know, I, my stepfather is a paramedic. And now because, well, I spent 14 years working in a hospital. Two tabs, twice a day. Yada yada. <laughs> All right, let's see. I am about 20 minutes in. Let's go ahead and clear these last two rooms. <laughs> no need to be walking around like humans in here. Uh, you, you. It's almost time for my shift. I hate pretending to be human. They're so smelly and repulsive, it's demeaning. Any food I can steal? Those ones we ate last time weren't so bad. And those two soldiers we just caught look plump and juicy. Um, <laughs> Ikar is a genius. His plan to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role worked like magic. Now the Queen's ours and the castle's in uproar. This is rich. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, you're right there, Arcadius. The only time someone outside of the medical field says tab, it's either, uh, something not from an official pharmacy. All right, I think I'll pay my respects to the Fiend Lord statue before my shift starts. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, where, where is it? Oh, is this where the Fiend Lord statue is? Um, yeah, I'm totally buying. Those are the three people there, All right? Did you by chance come to save Queen Lenny? Oh, you did. That's good to know. Oh, how good of you to come. I'm sure Yakura will be pleased. Please, pass the time in here with us until he has a chance to come and greet you proper. Oh, you came to rescue me? How kind of you. But I assure you, there's no need. The master of this place, Yakara, is so very kind. I've decided to stay here. Please make yourselves at home, too. Sure. Well, I will happily loot their hundred bucks. Because they're not going to need it for too long. And an ether. Oh great Magus, Magus the Great, your eyes are brighter than the stars. Your flowing hair like waves atop the sea. Even those miserable sunny days abate when we feel your seething hate. Even brightened halls hold no fear just so long as you are near. Magus, O oh Lord Magus, you are our fiend lord and savior. This is getting weird. Come join us in singing your funeral dirge. Ha ha ha. Yeah, about that. You ready to get some of this? Because you're going to get some of this. Um. Come on. Get ready. There we go. Bam. Eat it. Gone. Yeah, 
And these guys should be pretty easy to knock off before too long. We should be able to use the regular attacks on them. Oh, run away. Bravely run away. Alright. And everybody's leveling up. Nice. Oh, Magus. And a speed belt. That should come in handy. And a guardian bangle. feel like I should play a song by the bangles now. But I don't want the copyright takedown. All right. Okay, so here's the question. I've got a power glove, which gives me strength plus two. Guardian bangle will increase my stamina, speed belt, speed, and the sight scope. I don't care what the hit points of the enemies are because I'm just going to keep hitting them until they're dead. Uh, hmm. Stamina is going to increase defense and, well, stamina. Um, speed is going to increase the speed, which helps the refresh and the time between attacks. Go ahead and stay with the power glove for now. But um, Luke has already got the uh, speed plus one headband. Let's go ahead and upgrade that to the speed plus two. What does Frog have again? Oh yeah, he's got a power glove. Uh, no, that that seems about right for him. Let, let's go ahead and do keep that there. All right. So we've divided up the equipment. We've uh, taken care of the good folks over there, and now it's time to leave. Right? No, oh, yeah, no, we're not going to leave. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please take the time to enjoy yourselves with us. Mwahahaha. And here they come. Three sneaky snakes. Alright, we'll knock you guys out in one shot. Ooh, frog is running. In a bit of spot of trouble. That shouldn't last too long. We should be able to take care of the snake boy right there real quick. 24. Yep, yep. Money, money, money. Money. And we come back here. We got our shuffling gargoyles. Can we sneak out this way real quick? Yes. Okay, good. Then what we'll do is we'll back out here. We'll go into our inventory. And we'll use one of the shelters to get everybody up. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and slide things over to the credits and say thank you for joining in for episode 7 of Chrono Trigger. This is our season 2 of Games Revisited. If you like what you're seeing on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to get notified of when new episodes go live. I've also got a few other things going on the channel too, so... Uh, Definitely, definitely subscribe. There'll be a playlist with all these episodes together, just like there was for Season 1 with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. If you want to join in live and get in on the live chat, then head over to Mixer or Twitch. There's links in the description below. And if you're already watching with me right now, live as we record this, hang tight because uh, we got more to go. So with that... We'll uh, see you next time.